hi guys and welcome back to my channel so today's I have a very exciting video I am getting ready to go on a trip to uh, Ohio I think by the time this video goes up I'll be back anyway but I'm getting ready to go on a trip to Ohio and I thought why won't I film a um, video like on some tips and tricks on how I like to travel and just what makes it easier for me over the years I figured it out and yeah I'm gonna so i share with you I think nine or ten I cannot remember exactly but it'll be in the title we'll figure it out how I'm gonna finesse it in there but yeah if you guys want to see what my favorite tips and tricks are for traveling to make your life so much easier then let's get into the video sorry all my lighting is just not doing it for me today okay so my first travel hack tips whatever is to book through a website that uses a point system so I always book through Expedia for everything hotel flights rental car everything as far as like that is concerned and I've been using Expedia for the last since like four years or so and they have a point system and this is not sponsored by the way but you know what if you want to sponsor me hit me up but anyway um I love Expedia I have gotten to the point where I, I got um so you get enough points and I'm right now like I'm gold status because I like use it so much and it like triples your points doubles your points like if you do it on your like book it through your phone or something like that and I've gotten to the to so many points that I hadn't even had to pay for my hotel before it's taking off like fifty dollars worth of hotel fees for me and it's like literally amazing um I've gotten VIP access to things I get free now that I'm a gold status I usually get a free con uh free breakfast for places that don't offer continental continental breakfast i know when i stayed at a hotel once and they had this beautiful beautiful buffet breakfast and it's not free like it's not included in your hotel but since i was gold status they i was allowed to um they upgraded me to like a vip or something so yeah so i definitely recommend if you want to get money off of your flights and off of your hotels definitely use something that uses a point system you don't necessarily have to use expedia but expedia i love it it's been awesome like seriously like my info is down below i use you a lot a lot i am a i love expedia Okay, so the next one, the next tip that I have for you guys is to print your boarding pass before you leave or you can um, do a screenshot on your phone. I usually will do a screenshot on my phone and it, you don't have to go through like the kiosk, through the line or anything, but if you don't um, actually like print off the boarding pass, you could, uh, and you like just want to do it, you could just screenshot like the... Um, like your confirmation number and do it real quick but you never know like how long those lines are going to be the time of day that you're going to uh to the airport especially international airports are literally crazy um so if you already have your boarding pass you can go ahead and skip the kiosk line and just go check in your bags or whatever i always do that i screenshot in my phone usually but if you don't feel comfortable like with doing it on your phone you can always just print off the boarding pass so that is a really good hack because those lines be crazy sometimes that's it oh and i wanted to mention i uh someone asked me before like how do i uh i'm like the wrong person to ask about checking bags because since i'm military i get like two or three free checking bags up into up to like 70 pounds each so i've never had the problem of checking in a bag and having to pay for it or having to weigh my bags and i really don't bring that many bags anyway at the most i'll bring three uh two bags maybe three um but i don't have to pay for it so i kind of like take advantage of it um since i'm military so military doesn't have to pay for it so i'm not really like too sure about how it goes like when you check in bags i literally just take it in show them my id and they take it away so yeah um so yeah so the next thing is to pack your shoes or pack your clothes and shoes that can that you can mix and match and um you can pack less with that so i always will take like a black pants or uh and jeans and i take two of those and i will wear those throughout my trip it's okay you can wear the same jeans or pants twice a day three times a day like y'all know you do it i do it all the time and it literally saves so much room instead of having to pack you know jeans and you know like all a jean for every day like that's ridiculous and you're just wasting space and you can also 
roll them or like fold them really neatly so that you can like have them sitting up so that you can put more things in to your bag I always do that and um, even I, when I don't use suitcases uh, which I usually don't I will just roll it up and put it in my bag um, like my book bag or carry-on bag or something like that and it saves so much room I can fit more things like my makeup in uh, which leads me to um, the next hack or tip or whatever is to get you a toiletry bag i for the longest never got a toiletry bag and i would just like stick my stuff in my suitcase or my bag and it took up so much room and it just uh it was so inconvenient and i finally got a toiletry bag and i got one from amazon recently i upgraded and i love it because it's like kind of like square rectangle so it like fits perfectly into my suitcase and i will put like travel things like little travel bottles and stuff of like um, shampoo conditioner and I've like squeezed out some of my soap that I have and it is a lifesaver it fits so many things in there and you can like just sit it in your suitcase or your bag and it takes up like less room I love it and also with my makeup bag I finally got a makeup bag separate from my travel bag because I always put it in my like toiletry bag and it literally took up all of my room so I got a whole new makeup bag and I'll have all of everything that I mentioned linked down below um, if you guys want to check it out and yeah it it's been a lifesaver and both of them are like square rectangles so it like fits perfectly into my suitcase it is awesome and another uh, hack I have is to separate your bag like your jewelry and put it in an, and put it left separate your bag for jewelry and your toiletry bag so I have a whole separate thing for jewelry but I will always put my jewelry in my bag and it'll always get like tangled up and everything or lost Ugh. and so now I have like a little pouch that I will put my jewelry in and um, I'll put it separately like into my toiletry bag and I could just like oh boom I know where my um, thing is because it's right there like it's in that little bag and if it gets a little messy jumbled or whatever in my toiletry bag or that, like that little bag like at least it's in that and not like scattered everywhere in my toiletry bag so that is definitely you know do that um, next is something that I've always done is have a plastic bag for your dirty clothes I know some people like to do laundry bags I think I might invest in like a really small laundry bag but honestly like a plastic bag is fine whatever I'll use like a Target bag because you know those are usually bigger bags anyway than like regular like Kroger bags or Walmart bags and I'll put my dirty clothes in there um, and just do that and if it has a if the place has a lot like I'm staying has like a um a laundry thing I'll use that like if it's inside the like my room or whatever but usually I don't stay at places like that so I just put it right in there and I'll shove it in like the back pocket of my suitcase and it's fine um next is electronics and chargers go in your carry-on um and put clothes Oh, you can put your clothes in your carry-on as well so I usually will have one or two carry-ons in addition to a check-in luggage and my carry-on bag will be my purse that I carry and maybe like a bag I'll put my clothes and stuff in there just like extra things that maybe not have fit in my suitcase so I'm like over packing for, for whatever reason usually that doesn't happen but I will put my electronics like my computer I usually will carry because I'm working on my computer anyway and I'll you know put that through security and whatnot but I always put like my chargers and electronics in my little purse that I have I'll sh you guys will see it in the b-roll or the clip or whatever I show you um or I'll stick it in my carry-on bag if I want to it just kind of depends on like what I'm doing but I usually have my computer in my hand because I'm always working on my computer um when I'm especially when I'm at the airport and then another thing I completely forgot to put this in a b-roll but I will show you and I don't know where you are right a portable charger this I got for Christmas like two years ago it, it works wonders especially when you're in a pinch but lately like airports and stuff have always been like really accessible when it comes to having like chargers everywhere so um but if you're like on an airplane that doesn't have like the plug-in usb or just out and about and you're like crap like my phone is about to die you have a portable charger and yeah so that comes in really good handy and i'll throw that in my um in my purse as well just for emergencies and guys last but not least is to always arrive to the airport at least two hours early um, I usually arrive about an hour early I'm not gonna lie because I get to go through the TSA or like the military line um, military personnel get to go skip through all of the long ass security lines and just go right on through and go through security real quick so I've literally had probably 10 minutes to spare like I was late my uber driver like dropped me off somewhere like 
crazy that wasn't the right place and I was like crap my flight literally leaves in like 20 10 minutes literally or like we were they're starting to board or like the gates were closing or whatever and I literally had five minutes to spare I got out of the car went through security literally in five minutes and got on a plane because I'm military personnel and I don't have to wait in the line so yeah but definitely especially when you're going traveling international I know oh my god the international airport in Atlanta is absolutely insane so you probably want to arrive like more than two hours early but like if you're flying domestic usually like two hours hour two hours I would say um, definitely arrive so you can get settled in through security and everything and make sure that you are on time and that is just 10 of a few hacks that or tips that I could give you that but those are like the main ones that have helped me over the years but I hope you guys enjoyed this um hack tips I don't know what I'm gonna call it yet but yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and also turn on your notification bell so that every time I upload a video you guys will get a notification and yeah thank you guys so much for watching again and I'll see my next video bye guys